Hello everybody! So today's video I am going to film a vintage rose makeup tutorial. So let's get on with it now shall we? First thing is first, I'm going to roll my fringe before doing my makeup. In this way, it can keep my hair tidy so I don't get bothered with it. Although the weather is extremely and rarely freezing these days, the sun is still very bright so I use this sun cream to protect my skin. Also, I'm going to put a little bit of lip balm so by the time it comes to me doing my lips, they are not too dry. Okay, I'll be honest with you, I don't often use primer, but when I do want the consistency to be longer, I do, just like today. And this is the primer from Benefit. Then I'm going to use this concealer and we all know that you can never go wrong with this the same concealer and I'm just going to blend it out with this Dyser Beauty Blender. This is actually my first time to use this blender. I found it a little quite hard but um, next time I'll use it with water. I'll try. This Innisfree Smart Drawing Foundation is thicker than usual foundation, so it's actually called concealer foundation. As I'm not using proper foundation today, I'm using this one instead, which is enough to create this look. For the cushion foundation, I'm using this age 20s cushion foundation. I think this is so dewy and it's so easy to apply on my face. And when I need the quickest makeup, this is the best cushion foundation, I think. In terms of brushes, I am using these treble brushes from Arita, which they all come together. They're quite short and handy, but I'm still using these at home. For my eyebrow, I'm using the sideway brush from Another Stories. And for my eyes and nose contouring, I'll use this Precision Beauty Bamboo brush. Lastly, from the face shop. Now it's time to get settled my base makeup. So I'm using this Makeup Forever, the obvious choice for me to go. As you know, I don't really have lots of eyebrows there. I mean, I have eyebrow, but not a lot. So I really concentrate when I draw my eyebrow. It's Bia Last Eyebrow Pencil. I don't think the consistency is like good, but it's easy to draw. To volumize my eyebrows, I'm using Maybelline Precise Fiber Volumizer. The review for this one I'll tell you first. It works perfectly well. It's like proper cope, like eyebrow cope. Let me put a bit of colours on my face now. This is the face shop eyeshadow. My looks quite bright, but when it gets on my eyelids, it does get subtle, quite light and natural. To add a little bit of pink, I'm using the Skin Food Holiday Edition. This looks more likely between pink and coral. But when it meets pink, it's near to pink, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So 
sometimes I just forget to contour as I don't wear daily bases. But it's not too late at this moment. In his free shade 16 creates really natural definition. Then for the edge of my eyes, I'll use dark burgundy to blend it out. So blend it out here and there. And sometimes I like to use my fingers. Sometimes I think it's just better than brushes. And with the same in its free shade, I'll draw the lines under my eyes. I think it does make a huge difference. I'm going to draw lines under my eyes by using MAC pencil eyeliner. Now I'd like to brighten up the inner corner of my eyes with this RMK eye palette. Right, before I use this, I'd like to show you this one properly as I think it's a really unique shape. When I first saw this, I thought it was lipstick. It has four different colours to use, apart from the dark grey colour, they all have a bit of shimmers in it and quite perfect to use for brightening eyes. So I use this first colour to put inside of under my eyes. As I introduced the Misha eye products from my last video, I'm using this the Star Liquid Eyeliner. If you're looking for a budget eyelash colour, this is probably and possibly the best eyelash colour in Korean drugstores, I think. Again, I'm using the Misha collection, the style, this is mascara. Just one tiny little weakness about this brush is it's quite chunky. But I do have another trick to show you later. To add a little bit of definition, I'll make some dots under my eyes by using the Face Shop Ink Eyeliner. For me, I don't really have lots of eyelashes under my eyes, so I think it does help. I absolutely adore this Holika Holika Family Rose. Oh my god, this is so lovely and so pretty. And I think this is just the perfect size for blushes. I think all the blushes should be like this. As you know, lots of blushes are just more than enough. Right, we are almost there. 
Now I have discovered this fantastic lip gloss recently and quite cool instantly as well. I think in Korea you can only buy this from Watson's, otherwise you can just get it from online. Now I am quite confident to say that this represents the definition of perfect MLBB, honestly. Regardless, the smell is quite minty, I don't know why, but pigmentation is really really vivid. And there you go, ta-da! So this is my vintage rose makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know I'm not very professional, but I hope I gave you a bit of tips and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do. I'll see you later. Bye.